is this catchphrase. Find out with the host of Catchphrase, Roy Walker. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to television's most exciting new game, Catchphrase. We're solving the right catchphrase can win a player an absolute fortune in cash and in prizes just like these. Like a trip to Hong Kong, or 10 days in Rio, or on the island of Bali, or the West Indian island of St. Lucia, or Sydney, Australia. Take the Orient Express to Venice, or fly Concorde to New York. All these fabulous prizes, plus videos, televisions, compact disc players, and lots, lots more, all to be won on Catchphrase. Well, what do you think of those for prizes? This is a very, very easy game. I can play it, you can play it at home, even my granny can play it, and she's 92. She's just gone on the pill. She doesn't want any more grandchildren. <laughs> what is a catchphrase, you might well ask? Well, it could be a book, a film, a song title. It's hard to explain. Take a look at the computer. It's generating one for you. What do we see? We see the word air, and we see a cloud. Audience, what do you think the catchphrase is? There's Mr. Chips walking across it. The catchphrase is... Walking on air. I told you it was easy. We need a couple of contestants, so let's meet them. Gillian is an accountant from Essex, and she plays Mark from Hampshire, who deals in Victorian watercolours. They're both here to play Catchphrase. A very good evening to you, Gillian, and welcome to Catchphrase. Thank you. You're an accountant, and you were telling me earlier that you lived in Japan for I some tried. time. Yes. Did you ever work there? No, I didn't. No. I worked there. They thought I was an impressionist. <laughs> the audience kept shouting out, you know, do Harry carry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet your opponent, Mark. You collect Victorian watercolours. Yes, that's right, yes. That's a marvellous occupation. You delve round different jumble sales and what have you. I believe you collected the buttons of Captain Scott's coat. Yes, well, I got one of them. You've got one of them. Captain Scott of the Antarctic? Oh, no, I've got six of those. Six of those? Yeah. No wonder he froze to death. <laughs> Let's play catchphrase. We play catchphrase for money. Talking about money, whoever's got the most of it goes forward to the bonus round into the super catchphrase for those fabulous prizes we were talking about earlier. There's the computer. It's randomly flashing pound values up to 50. Gillian, a charming young lady, will ask you to stop the computer when you feel lucky. 50 pounds! That means, players, when one of you correctly identifies a catchphrase, you win 50 pounds. A word of warning, do not buzz in until you hear the sound. With that, we say the very best of luck. Watch your screens. Here's your first catchphrase. Julian. Down in the mouth. Down in the mouth is right. We're off to a fast start, Gillian. Behind those nine squares, the computer's flashing. There's a bonus catchphrase for which we're putting £100 in the bank. You stop the computer, we'll see which square you come up with. That's the one. We'll uncover it. We'll give you five seconds. Here we go. Now, you've got £50. You've won that. There's £100 that we won for a bonus if you can tell us what the catchphrase is. No, I'm sorry. No idea? No, no idea. Well, it's very, very early. Mark, you're back and play with Gillian. Here's your next catchphrase. Gillian. Black sheep of the family. Of the family's right. Black sheep of the family, Gillian. <laughs> Just stumbled a little bit there, but you're doing well. There's the bonus catch for you. Stop the computer. We'll see what's square. That's the one we'll uncover. It. Five seconds, Gillian. Here we go. You've got a hundred. There's another hundred there for you. What's the bonus catch for you? It's very difficult. You want to take a guess? 
Time's up. Mark, you're back and play with Gillian. Here's your next catchphrase. Watch. Mark. Common cold. Common cold is right. <laughs> 50 pounds, that's yours. You take that home with you. Your first chance at the bonus catchphrase. Stop the computer, Mark. <laughs> Center square. Sometimes more revealing than others. We'll give you five seconds. Here we go. Gillian's got 100, you've got 50, you could take the lead for an extra 100 pounds. What is it? Chained, unchained melody? Not right, Mark. Gillian, you're back in play. Here's your next catchphrase. Here we go. Mr. Chips, watch him, he's very important. Mark. Sticking to a diet. Sticking to the diet, sticking to your diet is right. Mark, you're doing very well now. There's the bonus catch for you. Stop the computer. That's the square. We'll give you five seconds. Here we go. You both got a hundred. There's a hundred there to be won. What's the bonus catch for us? Roll out the barrel. Roll out the barrel's not right. You're back in play, Gillian. Here's your next catch for us. Gillian. Banana split. Banana split. That was an easy one. The bonus catchphrase is proving a bit difficult. Stop the computer, Gillian. We'll uncover that square. Five seconds. Here we go. 150 pounds. You've got that. For 100 pounds, what's the bonus catchphrase? Want to take a guess? Unlock the door. No idea. It's difficult. Mark, you're back in play. Here's your next catchphrase. Watch your screens. Mark. Heartbreak Hotel. Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> One of my favorite songs, that Mark Heartbreak Hotel, recorded by Elvis Presley. There's the bonus catch for you. Stop the computer. That's the square. Five seconds. Here we go. 150 pounds is yours. You've got 100 pounds in the bank. What's the bonus catch for you, Mark? Lock, stock, and barrel. Lock, stock, and barrel. <laughs> You had a very fast start there, Gillian, but Mark is playing very, very well. Don't worry about it. The computer's flashing pound values up to 100 pounds. As you're behind, Gillian, we'll ask you to select it. Stop the computer when you feel lucky. 25 quid. Well, it's lower than what we were playing for. You'll just have to work harder. Watch your screens, players. You're both in play. Here's your next catchphrase. Bookworms. Bookworms, right. <laughs> Your turn at the bonus catch for his mark, which was we have do we've raised up to 200 pounds this time. Stop the computer. <laughs> we don't cover that square. We'll give you five seconds. Here we go. It's very, very early. Do you want to take a guess? I have no idea. No, no idea. idea. Gillian, you're back in play. Watch your screens. Here's your next catch for his. Mark. Bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel's right. <laughs> There's the bonus catch for you. Stop the computer. We'll give you five seconds. We'll uncover it. You tell us what's there. You've got 300 pounds for another 200 pounds. What is it? Gunfighted OK Corral. That's not right. Gillian, you're back in play. Watch the screens. Here's the next catch for you. Mark. Catching a cold? Catching a cold <laughs> is right. I think you knew that one, Gillian, but he's just buzzing in that much faster in front of you. Come on, let's really get going in this game. Mark, stop the computer for the bonus catchphrase. We'll uncover that square. Five seconds. Here we go. For an extra £200, what is the bonus catchphrase? 
for something I've got no idea. No. It's difficult. It's very difficult. You're trying very hard. Gillian, you're back in play. Here is your next catchphrase. Watch. Mark. Uh, flip joint. Not right. Gillian? Double jointed. That's not right. Let's ask the audience. What do you think you got there? You got the strip joint. Oh, you were so close there. Watch your screens, players. You're both back in play. Here's your next catchphrase. Mark. Egg yolk. Egg yolk. <laughs> That's right. The bonus catchphrase is there, Mark. The money's got to be won. Stop the computer. We'll uncover a little bit more of it. We'll give you five seconds. Let's see what's behind that square. 355, 350 pounds you've won. There's another 200 pounds. What do you think it is? I've got no idea. Gillian, you've still got a chance. Players, watch your screens. Here's your next catchphrase. Mark. Dog collar. Dog collar's right. <laughs> the bonus catch phase is yet to be solved. Stop the computer. We'll uncover that square. We'll give you five seconds. Here we go. For an extra 200 pounds, Mark, what's the bonus catch phase? Custer's last stand. Custer's last stand is right. Gillian's got 150 pounds. Marcus, 575 pounds. Can Gillian come back? Who's going for the super catchphrase, those fabulous prizes? See you after the break. Thank you very, very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to television's most exciting new game, Catchphrase. We're solving the right catchphrase can win a player an absolute fortune in cash and in prizes just like these. Like a trip to Hong Kong, or 10 days in Rio, or on the island of Bali, or the West Indian island of St. Lucia, or Sydney, Australia. Take the Orient Express to Venice, or fly Concord to New York. All these fabulous prizes, plus videos, televisions, compact disc players, and lots, lots more, all to be won on Catchphrase. Well, what do you think of those for prizes? This is a very, very easy game. I can play it, you can play it at home, even my granny can play it, and she's 92. She's just gone on the pill. She doesn't want any more grandchildren. <laughs> What is a catchphrase, you might well ask? Well, it could be a book, a film, a song title. It's hard to explain. Take a look at the computer. It's generating one for you. What do we see? We see the word air, and we see a cloud. Audience, what do you think the catchphrase is? Is this catchphrase? Find out with the host of catchphrase, Roy Walker. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>